what's going on YouTube it's your boy Barber Jace and welcome back to another video hope you guys are having a great day unfortunately this year it's not coming home but I'm sure we're all proud of how far we got in the competition it's like barbering sometimes you'll lose sometimes you do a bad haircut losing is a part of life if you don't lose you don't learn if you don't learn you will never change so keep your head up let's keep going guys but let's jump straight into the video I've created a horseshoe section and I'm doing a bit of cross graduation to create my weight line and this length on the side is my connecting length I'm going to connect the length from top to this length and I'm going to connect the clip work to this length too so now I'm cutting the top as you can see I'm not creating a profile line the reason for this is because I did the last haircut I know this shape is good and also he only wants the tips off he likes the length so I'm just freshening the ends keeping the length keeping the shape I know this shape is good for the, from the last haircut so if I just take the tips off the shape should still be good this is the only time I won't create a profile line so the shape of this haircut is square as you can see my fingers are horizontal I'm keeping it nice and square because his hair is a bit wavy and he wears it forward with that messy crop look with a slight fringe so by cutting it square I can keep that weight on the curvature at the back behind the apex I'm cutting it round I don't want it to be too heavy at the back I want it to blend in nice and tight above the occipital bone so after my layers are done I'm pulling down the fringe taking the tips off just to give it a bit of shape and to make sure it connects into the sides keeping the length though because when it dries it's going to bounce up it's going to appear shorter so I'm keeping the length just giving it a bit of shape now I'm drying it off just doing a bit of rough drying with low speed and hot air I want it to dry in his natural position and I want to just keep the natural curls and the waves that he has in his hair so now starting my clipper work right here I think I got number three I'm just removing that bulk creating a nice shape and it should blend straight into the block graduation that I did at the beginning you can use a number two but I'm just going in with a three because I like that weight around the curvature and I'm just going to scissor over comb above this weight line afterwards now inserting my zero placement line just with my seniors all the way closed removing that bulk before I use my trimmers so as you can see on my client's head as I was inserting this placement line I noticed on my client's scalp he had a bit of dry skin and a bit of psoriasis this is quite a common thing it's not contagious but I recommended my client to use a special shampoo a scalp therapy shampoo from Tony Malidi I'll put the link in the description this product has helped a lot of my clients that suffers from dandruff, dry skin, psoriasis, all that stuff as you can see right there but let's jump straight into basic barbering what's going on youtube it's your boy barber james back with another video and welcome back to basic barbering breakdown in this episode i'm going to show you how i use my foils cool so starting off i've got my fabulous pro foils these are my go-to foils it's a good all-round foil and it's quite good for the price as well you can get other ones like the wall ones I used to use also the Andis ones those are good as well but these are my go-to's so first of all before I start using it make sure you clean it out because this tool does get dirty so opening it up you can see all this dead skin from the previous client make sure you clean that before you use it on your next so using my brush my brush all this dust off and every every week I do pull these out you can just pull it and I soak that in barbicide make sure you clean the foils as well and the blade before I put the foils back on I give the blade a little spray with the clip aside pop that back on and I give it another spray and then I just give it a little dry make sure the foils are dry before you use it 
otherwise it's gonna stick to the skin and it's not gonna shave smoothly. So moving on to my haircut, I've got my client here, Axton. I've put in the zero placement line, I've cleaned it up with the trimmers and it's ready for the foils. A trick that I use before I use the foils, I make sure the skin is nice and dry using a bit of talc. Cool, using a bit of talc to clean up the skin, to dry it off, especially in the summer, people do get sweaty. It's nice to make sure the skin is nice and dry so the foils can glide nice and smooth on the skin. So now that the skin is prepared, I've, I've trimmed it down to the detailers. I'm ready to use my foils. So starting on the side, as you can see, the foils have a double blade and you should use it like that so both blades are on the skin but on the sides I flip it round and I just use one of the foils because you're working with a smaller area using one blade is slightly more accurate. A lot of people have been messaging me um, saying they're creating lines with their foils and it's hard to take out so I'm going to show you one little trick that I use. I'm going to go down with the growth so, so starting just below that placement line I'm going to engage my foils and I'm just going to go down with the growth. So there's many different ways of using this. I'm going down with the growth first and then now I'm ready to go against the growth and I'm not taking it as high as where I started. I'm starting right at the bottom and I'm just taking it just below the top where I started when I was going down with the growth. Going up will take it slightly shorter. And at the back, I flip it round, I use both of the blades. Slightly more efficient, I can cover a bigger area. And I don't have to go over it as many times. And when I'm going against the growth, I hold it nearer to the bottom. I'm using less pressure and it's easier for me to flick out. And it's less likely to create a harsh line. So that's what you don't want to do, otherwise you're going to end up taking your fade higher. And that is how I use my foils. Cheese! So that was the foil breakdown, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Just remember, go down with the growth before taking up against the growth, and that should prevent you from creating harsh lines. But now I'm just fading out that zero line, working down with my guards, working down from a 1.5, one guard, and then now the 0.5 guard, and now into no guard, playing around with that lever, keeping it nice and tight with that placement line, So here using my corner my clippers around the mastoid area where the head starts to curve and dip in and that is that little action shot of Barber Jace. Why do I look so serious now when I'm fading? So after completing the fade I'm just going to soften the blend with a bit of scissor over comb. Make sure you check out basic barbering scissor over comb a couple videos back. Check that out my people. Right here I'm just doing a little bit of refining, a bit of detailing just to take that fade to the next level. Make sure you step back, have a look at your work from a distance and use your mirror to check any imperfections. So I'm moving on to the beard, using my 1.5 guard to smoothen everything down, going down with the growth and fading in the sideburns, taking the beard down to the desired length before shaping it up. Now using my Babyliss skeleton trimmers to shape up the beard. Recently, I just zero grab these trimmers and these are hitting. The lines are coming out super sharp and they haven't cut anyone up yet. So I've got them perfectly aligned 
and it's definitely made these trimmers five times better so give it a try guys like standard factory settings with these trimmers are pretty good but after i zero gapped it it's just next level so as you can see when i'm lining up the bottom i do a bit of free handing as well just to give the beard a little bit of shape when i'm lining it up now using my balance razor make sure you check this razor out link in description also chopstick 20 to shave 20 percent off so shaping up the beard making it nice and sharp make sure you pull the skin give it a bit of tension doing a bit of razor over comb take off any excess parts poking out or you could just freehand it with a bit of scissor work afterwards and as i'm shaping it up i use my comb to clean off any excess hair tell me what you guys think man of this haircut a lot of people are rocking the curls i think it looks pretty cool man this style this is a low maintenance haircut you're embracing your natural curls just wearing it forward messing it up now using a bit of matte clay to style it up using my hair dryer to soften the wax little trick that i use just so it's easier to apply into the hair so starting at the apex where the hair is most dense and trying to get it into the roots as deep as possible without getting it onto the skin and just messing it up but thank you for all the support guys i just hit 15k subs i appreciate all of you guys big up to everyone that's watching thank you so much again and that is the after stay fresh stay faded stay blessed it's your boy barber jays and i'll catch you in the next one cheese